Sometimes the biggest game changer in your life is not something physical or material, it's actually a mindset. Now, in this case, it is a growth mindset. So in this video, I thought I would share what that is and why it's the thing that can really dramatically change your life. What's up guys, Alex Hyen here over at Modern Health Monk. Now, before we go in, I've put together a free seven day self growth challenge. If you wanna grow, it's the first link right below this video. You'll get a daily email with one simple habit you can do to improve your life and get 1% better. So check it out. In life, we're either committed to growth or committed to staying the same. About eight years ago, I was speaking with a friend when I'd first started a blog online. Now that blog at the time was called Milk the Pigeon and it was all about how 20 somethings can figure out what to do with their life and how to live an incredible life going forward. Now at that time I spoke with a friend who at that time was living back in China where I was the year before. And he said, oh man, you know, good luck with that. Like if you're gonna write articles, those first articles have to be like crack for people to wanna continue. Right, like you have to get millions of views for that to be a real business. Now I thought what he was saying was BS because I didn't believe that. I thought, well, why don't I put out one article per week and I'm gonna try to just make them 1% better every single time. So if I can make them 1% better every single time, maybe over a couple of years I can build an audience and maybe then I can build a little bit of an income to quit my job. So I wrote and wrote and wrote and wrote. And after a year where I was expecting I'd make 100K and quit my job, I made $2,000 in the first year. So needless to say, I was not gonna be quitting my job anytime soon. But as time went on, I kept writing and I kept learning and I kept writing and I kept learning and I kept writing and I kept learning. Now, long story short, after three years, right? Three years of working on that business every day, I quit my job. I was making about $2,000 a month, not a lot of money, but certainly enough to get all my 40 hours a week back to focus it all on my business. And I quit my job. Wasn't rich, I could pay my 800 a month rent and eat. I was good. Now, the funny thing was, that friend was still occasionally from time to time sending me these little quips about, oh, like, I'm gonna build this business, I'm gonna build that business, I'm gonna do this thing and that. But after three years, I had quit my job, he still had not put a single article on the internet and hadn't made a single dime. Now, what was the difference? He had a perfectionist fixed mindset, believing that you either have it or you either don't. You have it or you don't. My mindset was, I can always improve and I can figure it out. And it's pretty clear what paid off in the end. Carol Dweck is the researcher that sort of coined these terms, growth mindset and fixed mindset. Now fundamentally, they're very, very basic terms that we all know to be true, but sometimes thinking about them in terms of how they are talked about is very useful. So people with a fixed mindset tend to believe that attributes within themselves are fixed, as in they cannot change. They tend to believe that in many ways their potential in some cases is fixed, meaning I can never get good at business or math or salsa dancing or be financially rich if I don't already have like this inclination or a talent for it. People are just like that and they can't change. While people with a growth mindset tend to believe basically the opposite. They believe that certain attributes are malleable, that action, discipline, habit are not fixed qualities. Basically the affirmation is that if I believe, if I put time and energy into something, I can get good at it. And you can put time and energy into basically anything. So if you want, you can get pretty decent at just about anything. Now the kicker is really that these two things are identities and their beliefs. So if you believe things can get better and you can change and you can learn, then you will act in accordance with that. Meaning you will pick up those hobbies and those classes and those careers because you believe you can figure it out. You can get better. But if you believe you have a fixed mindset, right? If you hold this belief, you usually never try. Because if you were an accounting student and then you decide, I want to be a YouTuber, you believe that they have skills you never had and you can't develop. Or that if I wanted to go into medicine, that's all, oh, those are just for those medical students. They have a, a gift towards that or they gravitate towards that. Or I want to be a writer. I'm not a writer. I got C's in English. What am I going to do? The fixed mindset is so insidious because it sabotages you before you ever begin. And you didn't know that it was your belief 
rather than a fact that stopped you from taking action. Now, these are such big game-changing concepts because if you believe you'll always get better, if you put an effort, you're gonna try endlessly throughout your life. And if you believe you can't, no matter how much you try, then you'll never try. So if you're someone who's working on their life, whether it is you wanna become an entrepreneur or you wanna become a great salsa dancer or you wanna become a travel vlogger or travel blogger, whatever it is, if you have a growth mindset, it's the ultimate hack for reaching your full potential because you can get good at really anything. I've done that in undergraduate. I did that in my first job. I wrote multiple books even though I'd never written books. I built multiple businesses even though I was never a business major or had no interest in business. I got a doctorate even though I never thought I would do that. I've traveled to you know, 60 countries even though I never thought I'd do that. I moved to Los Angeles and started my life over, built new friends, never thought I'd do that. And I'm now I'm traveling all over the world doing bachata and salsa dancing. Who the hell thought I'd do that? But all of those things are because my fundamental core belief is that with a little time and effort, I can get good at almost anything. And so there is no career that I don't think I'll do well in at this point because of that one pesky belief. So think about that the next time you sabotage yourself and don't go after a goal or a dream. Think, am I thinking from a growth mindset point of view or a fixed mindset point of view? That's my two cents for you today, guys. Check out the seven day self growth challenge below the video and I'll see you soon.